Well, surely the holidays aren't stressing you out, but let's just say they were. Dr. Tracy Alloway, author and psychologist, is with us right now for our Mental Wellness Wednesday segment. And you were true to your word. You said <laughs> reach out on Facebook or to you on your website or your um, social media, mm -hmm. and you would tackle the problems that our viewers asked for. Mm -hmm. So today we're talking children and stress at the holidays, older parents, mm -hmm. and then also whether or not you should give a gift or mm -hmm. an actual experience. So let's start with the, with the kids. Yes, yeah, so I know that one of the things that a lot of the viewers reached out to me to talk about was stress with children. And one great way to help manage that is using an Etch-a-Sketch. One particular study found that when the parent and the child did it together, especially if it was challenging and the parent was positive and uplifting and encouraging, the child was not only able to complete the task, but also was able to manage another stressful situation a lot better. It was almost like that kind of interaction, that joint encouragement with something challenging gave them a kind of boost that they felt you know what if it's stressful later on I've got this I've got a kind of stress response that is positive and healthy it's like a warm-up exercise yes so would you suggest maybe doing something else if you don't have an Etch-a-Sketch? Is there like just maybe even just drawing something or a You puzzle? could, and I think a jigsaw puzzle would be great. Anything that you find could be challenging. Maybe even baking, I saw that beautiful video. Yes. <laughs> just doing something together yes. that, it, that has a little bit of a challenge to mm -hmm. it. Okay, what about your older parents and family members? I do find that I feed off the stress mm -hmm. of other people. So if you have somebody else in your life that is stressed out, that can cause a disharmony. Yeah, such an important question. And a study that just came out a couple months ago actually found that um, robotic pets, and I brought one in today, um, was really effective for older adults especially. Really? Yes, yeah, so giving a robotic pet is a great way because the older adults reported feeling better uh, emotional levels, higher mood. Uh, and one of the reasons they felt that the pet was, was fun, there was no sense of I need to take care of them, there was no sense of responsibility in that sense, but they felt the pet was listening to them. That they could actually oh. interact with it. So uh, this is just one example. It's not the one they used in the study, but I think you know a great thing to do to help maybe de-escalate some of the stress if you have older family coming to visit, have a little robotic pet lying around. Oh, um. I love that. I love that. That is a perfect gift. Another perfect gift, and Tracy, I think you've talked about this mm -hmm. at least once or twice a year since we've known you, but it yeah. bears repeating. The gift of giving an experience. Yes, I know this is one of the things a lot of the comments talked about on social media was that sometimes buying a gift for someone is very stressful and I can understand that, especially if it's someone that you've had in your life for a while, they're gonna like it and so on. And so this particular study gave uh, two people $15, so a very small amount, and they found that when they use that money to give an experience, whether it was a movie or you know a, an hour of golf or whatever that experience was, they reported such better levels of mental health, more happiness, and two reasons for that. One, whenever you give experience, you have that emotional elevation, whether it's, you know, say skydiving, you've got that fear, you're getting that emotional boost, and that emotion in turn leads to the second reason, which helps you feel connected to the giver. So rather than just an object, that experience is connecting the two of you, the giver uh, and the uh, recipient. And it can be a lot of fun. It can. You might try something <laughs> new that way yourself. That's right. So <laughs> where did you find these questions that our viewers had and where should people go with additional questions for you? Yeah, so I'm on social media, on Facebook, on Instagram as Dr. Tracy Alloway. My website, tracyalloway.com. I, uh, I love reading all the comments and this is kind of what led to some of our topics today. Wonderful, and we love having you. So that means we know we can look forward to you every Wednesday. <laughs> and we're gonna be right back with more River City Live. Don't go away. <laughs>